Okay, this is bad. Hello and welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 19. I'm not only 25 and this is Agility Hostility, a series with a rhyming title, survivalist difficulty, sprinting zombies and an agility build. So we're down to our last three episodes here, we're on episode 68. Uh, we've got 69 and 70 to go and we'll be done finito with our agility experiment, which I must say, I have thoroughly enjoyed every single moment of it. And I'm just wondering what we want to do today. So recently, in recent episodes, we've gone around the forest looting. We've done a little bit of uh, light looting in the wasteland, as you do. We did the Burnham Forest last episode, I believe. So it only makes sense to me that we need to do a bit of desert town looting today. Uh, we haven't got much in the way of desert town to loot. We've got this place here and we've got this place that we haven't fully explored. So let's mark that. And out of the corner of my eye, I've just spotted a wandering horde. So that's fun. Uh, let's let's go down and meet them. I, I, I don't want these two over here to get away. Hello, guys. Hello. 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 Have I got all of your attention? Yeah. Okay, Steven. <laughs> you can have one of them, my man. You can have one of them. You can have one of them. And so can you. How does that sound? Okay, they've all stopped dead in their tracks for some reason. And there we go. Pop that head. And I think we got them. It's always a fun way to start an episode, isn't it? With a wandering horde. Knocks off that rust a bit, doesn't it? So we have our motorcycle on our person. Uh, we're looking good, sitting pretty in terms of inventory space and so on. Uh, there's nothing working in here for us, but... We haven't got any materials to be messing around with the stuff anyway. We've got plenty of uh, ammo and stuff. We're, we'll be fine. Head over to our lovely little gyrocopter. One, 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 one. Uh, we need a little bit of gas in there, actually. Have we got gas on us? Yeah, we certainly have. We're not fools. It's not our first rodeo. Oh, no, it's full of gas. It is our first rodeo. Right, let's get out of here and head over to that desert town, shall we? And there's that one and done hard base. So if this type of thing is of interest to you. We are currently level 78, game stage 172, enemy kills 6,738. How about that, eh? How do you like that for breakfast? Okay, this town is just coming up, actually. It's really not as far away as I thought it was. Don't think we've done too much looting around this one, so this will be something nice and different for us to do. But probably not that different, because it's going to have a lot of the same old POIs, but... Okay, well, we're going to go straight past this shamway anyway. And this looks like a good place to stop to me. We'll pick this thing, well, we'll fuel it up, we'll pick it up, and we're laughing. Let's fuel that up as well. Awesome, so why don't we kick things off with a little bit of the repair shop here. Didn't know there were searchable furnaces in the game. That's news to me. That's locked. Uh, I'm not seeing an obvious way in here. Oh, except for this unlocked door. <laughs> oh, where did you even come from? The furnace, I imagine. Quality 6 Claw Hammer. Is it going to be a good day? Yeah, Game Stage 172, Max Lucky Looter. We should be getting some good stuff here. I think your Game Stage kind of loot caps off around 200. I don't think it gets any better. We should be getting, you know, that kind of level of stuff around about now anyway. I need to remember to throw out 762 because it's not going to do us any favours. Oh, hello, mate. Probably could do with turning off our old headlight there. Just checking here, just in case there's something. Zilch, nada, nothing. Oh, there's those uh, vitamins they like to give me. Well, you know what they say. You see a ladder, climb it. That's a real expression, and definitely not something I just made up. Oh, what are you going to do, crawly pants? Crawly no pants, because you've got no legs. Okay, so it brings us up here. There's a little walkway here. And there's a window here. So this... But my parkour is just too good to get into it, which is a bit annoying. Oh, we can nearly make it up there. We could probably make it onto this one. There we go. Another bite of the cherry. Ugh. Okay, this is bad. Get off, man. Uh, we'll take the steel, the magnum, and these can be chucked. Normally I take water with me, but you know, 
needs messed and all that. We had somewhere else across the way I was thinking about looting. Uh, we've got, only got three eye candies though. I'm not going to do it. Um, right. Scrap. Take, 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 take. Leave the rest of it. A quality three auger and a quality six steel pick. Stuff that doesn't go amiss. I'm going to take that quality six sledge as well. Why not? What a toolbox, eh? Uh, we don't need that stuff anymore. Yeah, Bart Salvage. We'll do this place. Check that. Load up the bike. And uh, we'll throw the gyro in there, but remember, we've done it this time, hopefully. And for some reason, I've got back on my bike, even though we're coming straight into here. Okay, so we'll take that wood. Um, I think it gets pretty gnarly pretty early in this place, doesn't it? I think they like to spawn a load of them on you, basically. So. Oh, there she is. Hello. Come on. There's a biker, a dog. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty heavy stuff. Can't quite reach them. So we'll just... Oh. They've taken off Scarpering around here. These things need to die, man. Come on, you. And then it's down here, which I never knew about until recently. And I got the jump scare of my life. But I'm prepared for it now. Look at these two customers over here. Cheeky little working stiffs. Yeah, decent. Decent stuff. More nail guns for me. And if I'm right, this is, yeah, this this will just give us a way out here. Oh! Move! Where did you come from? At least we have a way out mapped now. This was down again. Alright, thank you for the loot. You can keep your tuna. Okay. Don't think anyone spawned in yet, that's the trouble. Or they come up there. Um, so we want to do this. Well, we'll mark the ones we've done. Because it gets a bit confusing down here. Yeah, that one's loot as well. There's one that's just like a bathroom that I want to get out of the way first. Which must be this one over here. See, she just spawned in. That's what just happened there. Wasn't going to back down. Ah. I've got a vitamin in the bike as well, but... The infection... Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, hang on. Thank you. Uh, we might as well use that. Since we can't stack them. Okay, so that's the one I wanted to get out of the way. <laughs> uh, imagine if it was a feral white. I suppose I would have whipped out the gun in that situation. Yeah, let's do this one next. But this is the problem. Oh, okay, they've been good enough to not just drop them straight on my head. Yeah, he's dead. So, see, that should be all of them. And is it just a shamway box up here? Okay. Three cans of sham, you can shove them. The SMG isn't loaded, actually, because I think I swapped it out last episode. Let's get in here, run back here. Go, I was prepared for you. How do you feel about that? Okay, there's people outside, but I don't care. Okay, that's the gun safe. We also need to unlock this. Probably will get a screamer now, because we spent so long augering away on that. That's fine. Uh, we're taking an eye candy. Uh, we don't need any of that ammo. <sighs> that's garbage, okay. And the M60 is pretty cool. A little few bits we can sell and stuff there, that's alright. Kind of lame though, considering, you know, I took an eye candy. Okay, let's get back up. Remember, we've got a broken arm or a sprained arm. And let's have a poke around town a bit more. Okay, we've got an active uh, loot candy. It only makes sense to me that we should go and cheese this place. Are you going to get the most out of your uh, eye candy after all? Oh, look at that silenced and multi -comatic. That must be pretty rare. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, blueberry pie, we'll eat it. Uh, meat stew, we'll eat it. 
I don't want it taking up space. Ammo pile. Uh, we don't need any of that. And in this thing, we're getting bad loot. We're on a bad loot run here. This happens sometimes where you just get really bad loot one after another. And you kind of just need to shake it. I know it's probably just like, you know, the gambler in me. <laughs> Talking with superstition and stuff, but... In my experience, when you start getting bad loot, it's really hard to shake getting bad loot. Uh, garbage in there. That's okay, though. Hey, big mother. If anybody's woken up down there, we'll let them come to us if they really want to. Take care of this girl over here. And please be unlocked, it is. Uh, right, that's a bit more like it. Some passable stuff there. This uh, will save us a bit of time, actually, so we'll use that on a safe, maybe. Uh, that's not bad. We might as well check this sham wave since we're here. Uh, again, not bad. There we go. Loot's back on side now. Oh, look at him. Just uh, painted a perfect outline of his body with those shots, didn't I? Come on, Mr. XP. Hello. No more debuffs, please. Uh, that is honestly all garbage that I don't want. Uh oh, farmer hits hard. Get rid of him. And then we've got old Graham over here as well. Okay. Not the best loot, not the worst loot. No, oh, Steve. Ah. The, uh, Hope Cabin. I don't know that I know this place too well. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's something different for us this series as well. Just a small matter of the sprained arm. Uh, we can just kind of adulter it through here, though. That's fine. Hello. Wow. That tells me that I need to be stealthing. Now, I feel like one of these places, it sends you hurtling through the ground. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Need to get out of there. There's a... <laughs> there's a barrel. Okay. Garage storage. And is that a passing gas crate I spy? It was, but it had nothing good in it. Oh, there's a working stiffs here as well, actually. Not bad. Quality 6 iron shovel will not go amiss. Come on, honey. Uh. Hey there. Yeah, there's the bit that sends you crashing through. What's up here? Oh, there's a shotgun messiah crate. A uh, load of garbage we don't need. We'll take the jars, though. Right, let's uh, go for a long drop down here. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. Okay, get your SMG, my man. Beautiful. Float an ammo pile. Uh, yeah, we're not... You know, when you know this, the end is coming up, you're not going to take a lot of this stuff. Just the useful things or stuff that you know will sell for a lot. Just to kind of get that total up. Okay, and uh, just behind this work and workbench was a little hatch. That's pretty cool. That place was good, though. We uh, basically... Well, we've half the time on our arm, and that was a, was a new place for us. Oh, we've got a cheerleader on us. Get a bit of distance. There we go. We got her. All right, well, here's a way in for this place. We've got a minute and a half on, a, uh, on our sprained arm here. They don't do tree stumps here, do they? Uh, maybe over there. We'll come back for this place in a minute. We'll mark it on the map so we don't lose it. I want to get rid of this infection while we're waiting for our arms to heal. Ooh. Hang on a second. Let me just go over here. They're so cheesy. Garbage. There's absolutely zero tree stumps out here. But the arm is better, so uh, I'm up for going back to this place over here now. The arm was just never going to get better if we kept, you know, having to shoot and melee and stuff every two seconds, so I'm glad that we took that little break away. Shame there's no tree stump, so I would have loved to have got rid of this infection, but there we go. Can't have everything in life, can you? Okay, let's get in. Ooh, cowboy. Wonder if we can... Nope. Two shots. Not bad. Considering it's survivalist and it's a feral radiated, you know? There's somebody right there. It looks like a thumb man to me. Got a biker in the corner here as well. Um, don't want to mess around with him, actually. Because that'll just alert the thumb man to our presence. We'll take him out the sensible way. 
Never bloody vitamin. Oh, look at that. 44 robotic turret in there. Little yucca juice action. Should have known. Come on, come around. Whoa, don't come around. I changed my mind, I don't want you anymore. Just drinking everything I see now. Oh, look at the veggie stew recipe. Oh, very nice. Whoa! Hey there, smile for the camera. It's the best I've ever seen in Path. Hey, mate. Whoa! We're going, we're going to melee. Hey. She's so fast. Quite hard to kite around here as well. Okay. We have to take a couple of hits there. I don't know, let's just take a pain pill since we've got so much water in hand here. Who's there? Who's there? Come on, Feral Graham. Come on, Feral Graham! Oh, look at this biker. Just hoping to take his head off with a sneak shot. <laughs> you really do get to a point though where you have to take a lot of hits. A lot of hits before you're in real trouble. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even know where she came from. Wow. In here, I guess. Okay, you'll forgive me if I go back to sneaking a little bit here. Taking a bit of a kick in today. There's some hard hitting dudes in this place. Two bikers, a Graham and a Thumb Man. Namely. Uh, we'll take those two, thank you. Well, there's certainly no shortage of zombies in this place. Some repair kits. Some kind of okay-ish loot, I guess. Garbage. Uh, oh, look at that. So, our machete is better in every way, but it's going to sell well, isn't it? Okay, decent. Shame about this bloody infection. Okay, our bike's just here. And I'll tell you what else is just here is Butcher Pete's. Let's run him. You can see a sneaky soldier. Trying to get the drop on me. Whoa, he has got the drop on me though. Okay, turn around. So fast. Can't see how they can get much faster on Nightmare. But you know, I guess I'll find out one day. Eh? Just trying to keep my... Wits about me here, she's woken up. Done melee in with you. There's a vulture outside. That's no big deal. As always, lots and lots of good drinks here. That vulture's gonna wreck me when I get outside. Hello, the man. You again! Well, if you want me, Mr. Vulture, there's a wide open space you can come through here. Where the fuck? Let's get out. Here it is. It's frankly miraculous that I haven't had more debuffs at this stage. Uh, let's have a sham chowder. Okay, I tell you what, let's just go crazy in here. There we go. Couple of schematics we already know, spear hunter we already know. And two things we've got the series of. Okay, Shamway, boring Shamway. Oh yes! I take it back, you're brilliant. I was saying that, it's gone over 5% now, so, but, you know, still good. Gonna stop it spiralling out of control, isn't it? Uh, a quality 6 compound bow. We'll have to compare it side by side to the one we've got. Uh, yeah, that's all we can really manage to take there. I suppose these might help things, some things sell a bit better. Okay, let's bring down this quality 6 compound bow. 
Let's load some steel arrows into it and let's check. Yeah, this is a... I, I don't understand how I can keep getting improvements and everything, but I'm not complaining. Let's take our mods out. This has got 42 ranged damage. Yeah, this has got 44. So this has got two more ranged damage, two more projectile velocity, and 37 more max durability with the same sneak damage, of course. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll happily upgrade to that one. Always, always nice to get an upgrade. Got some pretty beastly gear now. Very nice. Down to the old motorcycle. We can probably do one more before we finish up here. Oh, hello. Here's someone. Oh, it's you. Yeah, there's not too much I'm feeling around here, to be honest. We'll, um, tell you what we'll do. We'll bust into this little wall safe. Garbage. Garbage. Well, actually, it's all decent stuff, but nothing I want right now. Uh, we might as well, um, we got the gyro on us, have we? Put it in here, didn't I? Yeah. We might as well take the motorcycle back. It's, uh, really not that far. I've accidentally gone up an old dirt path here instead of following this road for some reason. And it's actually taken me to this, uh, Scams and Grocery, which I've never really seen before. I've also got somebody running up on me here. Let's run in here. Take her out. More 9 mil. Always welcome. Is that it for this place? There's not more to it. It looks like it's gone upstairs to me. Why, how are you supposed to get up there is anybody's guess, though. I mean, I could just simply do this. I don't have to worry about it, do I? Here's a vulture. Ah, uh, we've got the reinforced chests. No point in messing around. You don't loot many magnums, do you? They seem to be a pretty rare drop. Yeah, I'll be a 762. Always sneaking your way in. I never meet you. We might as well pick her off there. Not one to turn down some free XP, you know? Give me my frame. Let's get back on our road here. That'll take us home. Right, here we are, back home. It was pretty quick getting back, to be honest, on the old motorcycle. No need for the gyrocopter in that situation. Let's turn our light on and get sorted out. If you look at my trader chest here, this is only a couple of loot trips worth, and you can see by being selective with what I'm taking, I'm only getting good items, and it just makes my, you know, I'm not coming home with loads and loads of junk I don't need, like duct tape, like broken glass cloth and stuff, because I've already got that stuff. I know I've got that. So what that means is my looting trips are much more efficient and make me a lot more money because I'm only taking good stuff, you know? Oh yeah, we're infected. Uh, thank you for the reminder. Uh, we'll take a herbal. So I'm going to start a business selling augers, chainsaws, claw hammers, nail guns, and vitamins. What do you think? Sound business strategy? What do you get if you scrap this out of curiosity? Just a couple of mechanical parts. Uh, we'll scrap a wire tool to add to our collection there. Going into the good stuff chest is a spare quality six compound bow. You never know when you're going to need a spare, do you know? Come on. Oh, I can hear someone out there. Oh, it's a wandering horde. <laughs> I just landed right in the middle of them. Nice. Okay. Didn't we start this episode of a wandering horde? Nice. Uh, they're not holding back on me. They're being generous with their wandering horde deliveries. Just pedalling backwards here. Simply pedalling backwards and swinging and there's, there's nothing they can do about it. I wouldn't recommend it unless you obviously really perked him with a really good machete. They got no answer for me. Yeah, that level, uh, extra level insect rex is feeling good as well. We don't need no beaker. Get out of here. Uh, we're all sorted anyway. We've, uh, we're actually done so that wandering horde came at a good time. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go and dig up Claude's treasure map that's just up here. So this is a part of a map we've never actually been on before. I wonder if it's got any secrets for us. We should have taken the gyro so we could see. You sure you want to run towards me now, then, man? You don't want to hit that tree aimlessly. Yeah, it's actually pretty close to the snow biome over here. That's interesting. Let's start digging. Oh, there's the little thing. Oh, some shotgun breaching stuff. A few exploding arrows. Yeah, it's the usual kind of fare that you get from that stuff. Never great, is it? I'll tell you what, then, since we've never been over here, let's see what's over here. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be much over here. I think if there was a city over here, I would have known about it by now. I would have been sent here on a quest or something. The Thumb Men are out in force tonight, aren't they? 
another thumb man out here. Look at this. Take his head clean off there. All right, we're just up top here. Just put our gyrocopter down. Uh, just been pottering about the place. Uh, I wonder if we can... Oh, look at that. Look at that smooth move to jump up on our perch to end the episode. So any second now, you will hear... The beautiful sound of the morning bell signifying it's time to end the episode. And end the episode we will. So we've got two episodes left, day 69 and day 70. Day 70 will be the horde. We'll be taking it out on the street, running and gunning, using the agility stuff, using the bows and the machete and the dulcer and the smg all that good stuff means we've got two days left to try and get quality six smg and dulcer not the end of the world if we don't they still own regardless um so that's what we uh we will do next time out i think so i think yeah next time out we'll we'll hit up somewhere pretty hard for loot maybe down back down to jen's town down here i seem to recall that has a lot of good places left to loot and then day 70 we'll probably run around the traders make as much money as we can see what our grand total is and then take the horde on so that's what you can expect for the next couple of episodes so if you've enjoyed yourself today why not consider leaving a like on the video? And if you want to see daily content from this channel, why not subscribe today? Thank you so much. Have a good one. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>